Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. We are in the process of trying to get a Ceratosaurus, which is a meat eater, so we're also going to have to build a new pen for it. We have got a few dinosaurs in here, we've got two trikes in here now, we've got Terry and Bertie, and we've also got two Struchiomimuses. Uh, we've got STR001 and STR002. Science oh, requires not only right. experimentation, but observation. And with you, I like what I see. Keep it up. Okay, she just gave me 43,000 for no particular reason by the look of it. Anyway, we've got some fossils here, so we want to go and have a look at these. Um, and I told you, I, I did completely forget, but I do remember now. What is coprolite? Coprolite is actually fossilized dinosaur poop. That is all it is. It's just fossilized poo. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing exciting. Um, but some scientists get very excited about this because it gives you a good indication of what the dinosaurs have eaten and things like that. Uh, but you're not going to get very much in the way of DNA out of it. So anyway, that is what coprolite is. We've... Oh, research complete. Electrified light steel. That's a good thing. Uh, we've got... Oh, we've got a Struthiomimus amber here. So that should boost that one up. And then we've got the Edmontosaurus here. We can actually make an Edmontosaurus now. It is a very low quality one though there. So I'm going to put that one going. And then I'll put that one going in a bit as well. So we've got both of those. Let's go back to our expedition map over here. Now this one is partially depleted. This one is, again, partially depleted, and so is the Ceratosaurus. I'm going to go back to that one. I'm going to send an expedition over to that one. Um, what is my Ceratosaurus? Let's, let's go to Incubate Dinosaur. I, I can have it. Uh, 64%. Okay, he's all the way up, and Edmontosaurus is available to do stuff with as well. I'm not going to do that one there. We're, we're not going to do anything to it there. What I'm going to need to do... Uh, incubate and release of the Hammond Creation Lab at Ceratosaurus. I'm going to need to sort of uh, boost this up. Right, new building fences prevent dinosaurs getting too close to guests. Different fence types offer varying levels of security. So if I click on there and we have there is an electrified light steel fence. And I'm guessing that one is a better one for a... Um, a, a, a big dude. A uh, carnivore. Carnivore is what I'm looking for. Yeah, I'm guessing that's a little bit better for a carnivore than for anything else. Let's go back to our research center a minute and have a look. We've got two million at the moment. Buildings, one item available there. Clothes shop for visitors. That's going to get us a load more money. So we'll start researching that one. And then we get less than a minute remaining. Well, that's going to actually research quite quickly. So we'll be able to build that one for the visitors and cash in on them. Get a nice little bit of extra cash coming from them. And I need to build a new pen for our carnivore. And I'd like to build it here. Now, it... Oh, hang on. I'm Owen Grady. Owen to my friends. I've seen things I'd rather not talk about, but it hasn't dampened my commitment to the dinosaurs. The raptors more generally, and me and Blue specifically. We have a special relationship, like what I have with Claire. Less complicated. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too, Owen Grady. Ideal. So, yeah, we got someone else power unlocked up there. Is something we simply Ooh. cannot ignore when it comes to our operations. Without power, we, uh, well, we, we don't have any power. <laughs> Without power, we don't have any power. Right, power stations provide substations to distribute power to nearby buildings. Ensure substations are connected to the power stations using pylons. Okay, well, that's simple enough. Right, so this substation here... We're not able to move substations. We're not able to move buildings altogether. Look, see if I go back, cycle building H for help. Uh, help, help. Close, complete. This is Lambert, oh, hello. head of security. Yours, theirs, and mine. Welcome to the islands. So here's Hi. our basic conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. Look, everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. I'm not sure I want to exploit them globally. Uh, contract or no, we're going to need more viable genomes at some point. Fortunately for us and you, there is an actual contract for this very thing. Don't miss it. Increase a dinosaur genome to at least 60%. Uh... Request additional contracts from control. Right, okay, so we can accept that one. Look, 
I know they're looking for ways to control the dinosaurs in the security division. And maybe this new genome helps with that. But instead of control, what these animals need is understanding. Trust and respect is a two-way street. Go to the fossils. Let's see what was found. So I need... Oh, we got another one here. This is another... It's 100,000 for that one. I still not had the one where I had to sell these things. I don't know if there is a thing to do that then. Uh, Ceratosaurus and Ceratosaurus. That one's a low quality one. I'll start that one first. And then we we'll go to that one there. So those are both going to be looking pretty good. It increase the new genome to 60%. I don't know if I have a new genome. Or maybe I need to do the Edmontosaurus. Uh, oh, I know what I forgot to do. I know what I forgot to do. I need to send them off again on another expedition. So we'll go and do that first. We've got that one that they're doing really well on that one. Uh, Triceratops, uh, Struthiomimus, Edmontosaurus. There, I'm going to send them off onto that one. I'm thinking that might gain us a little bit. Um, and then the Visitors uh, Research Center. Right, I'm, I'm going to need more power. We have unused power at the moment is just five. And I'm also going to want to move the substation around. I'm going to need to do a little bit of building work. I'd like to build a pen here for the dinosaurs. So the first thing that we're going to do is going to do some building. We go to enclosure there. And I'm going to put a gate. Allows ranger teams to access enclosures. Can be manually open and closed. So that's the first thing that we're going to want. Now our ranger team is there. I'm thinking that we want to put the gate over here somewhere. We'll, we'll put a gate. Where do I want to put the gate? I think we could put the gate about here somewhere. We will put it like that, maybe. There. Let's drop that gate in there. So then we're going to go for electrified fence. And if I come out there like that. Bring that one out this way. Uh, I have an issue with no power. Don't I? And which side of this do I want to bring that? I can, I can bring it out like that. So we go fairly close to the edge of the path along here. I think this would be a good thing, going along the edge of the path. And then along there. Um, of course, my big issue right now is that this substation is in the way. And it's going to be in the way of everything that I want to do. So I'm going to need to move that. And also to have a powered... Uh, oh, yeah, to have a powered fence, it looks like I need a bigger one of these. Right, so we've got a small power station here. And I've got an upgrade. I've got two empty upgrades there. So I can upgrade outage protection. Oh, I see. Improved output. Reduced upkeep. We need to research all of those in order to get them. So before we can do that, before we worry about any of that, let's go to enclosures, um, operations, I guess. Uh, uh, ACU, no. Expedition, no, it's none of that. Okay, it must be in, yes, yeah, in power, right. Half a million power output 60. Right, where can I put this one? I'm going to put this one all the way near the back, if I can. I want to put it right back there somewhere and then rotate it round outside build area that's no good I can put it there uh, terrain constraints constructed I want to build a new power station why won't you let me it's not too much to ask is it bring that one all the way around there like that Still terrain constraints. What's with the terrain constraints? There shouldn't be any terrain constraints. It should be fine. There should be no issues whatsoever. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to build it back there. Uh, we're definitely not going to be able to build it there. Now, where's the edge of the paddock? The edge of the paddock is down there. I could... Ooh! Right, I can put it here, right in behind this station here. So if I bring it over sort of like that. Back around a little bit. There, terrain constraints. There we go. About there. Right, so it goes right up against that point there. Um, the road is at the front. The power thing is at the back. So I need to join this power thing here. Actually, I can... I can just put it straight across. It does actually... Not really... You don't really want to put it right 
above the helicopters though that do you that, that that kind of feels a little bit foolish so what i will do instead is i'm going to bring that over that way and it's going to go up round this way and then i'm going to connect it in there like that so it goes it's it is going round quite a long way in order to get into there next thing that i want to do is i want to go into here and i want to come out of power and i want to go to footpaths like that i'm just going to go to ordinary footpath I'm going to put a footpath from there, and that one is going to go right the way along here. It's going to join right in there. So it does remove quite a few of the trees doing that. But there we go. We now have another power station, which means that we've got plenty of additional power. So I'm now going to need some substations. I'm going to need to remove that substation first which is the first thing that I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to go out here, and that one's going to go. Okay, remove. Now, how do I remove... There we go. Do it carefully. Like that. That one can stay there like that. Okay, that's good. And then I can go back to power like this. So the substation is 20 grand. And I will put a substation in over this side. We'll put one there. Which is going to... Why is it terrain constraints? What is with terrain constraints everywhere I go? It's just out to get me, isn't it? This, this terrain constraints thing. Surely I can build it on this hill. Apparently I cannot build it on this hill. Obstructed. Numbers never lie. And yours are exceptional. Yeah, I'm exceptional. There's no denying that. Right. So, ah, right, no, that, that one's now up and running, which means that this fence over here is now powered. Um, the only issue that we got, can I see the fence? Right, uh, power consumption one, substation three, power connections eight, power consumption ten. I don't get it. Why is it? Uh, it's just gate. Let's have a look at this. Right, uh, unused power 55. So this one over here. 60. We're using the power on the fence. That's what it's doing. Is he's using up the power on the fence. So then I want to come over to here and we want to go back to... No, I don't want power. I want to go back to enclosures there. Fences. And we're busy building our electric fence. So I want to bring that one all the way down here. Like that. On round this way. And then we want to come down to this corner down here like this. I mean, and now we want to come across this bit through here. This, this is going to be a little bit more tricky because we can't sort of see what we're doing as, as easily. Oh, it also removes the, it removes the trees. If the, if the trees get too close, it does actually remove them out of the way, which I guess is kind of a good thing. You don't want trees overhanging an electrical fence to short them out. Probably bad things are going to happen. So we're bringing that one up there like that. And then on a little bit further... Are we able to connect in yet? There. Right. That is connected all the way around. I've got that all joined up. Uh, so the next thing that we need, we have to have a Hammond Creation Lab in here in order to be able to make this work. So the next thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to demolish this footpath here. I'll take that all the way back there like that and I'll remove that little bit back there as well. So then we can come into enclosures like that. And we go for a Hammond Creation app. That is 400,000. Cheap at half the price. And it's got to be that way round. Now, I can move. The fence does kind of move a little bit. But it's not brilliant. Uh, which way do I want to go? I want to bring it round this way. Like that. So I want this one. This one's going to have to come back on this end. Like that. It can go... And that is, that's pretty much the spot that's going to have to go, is about there, like that. So we can drop that one in, and then I can also start building the footpath here. Uh, cheap path, narrow, um, what's this? Normal path wide, fancy path wide. I'm going to go for a, a wide footpath, I'm going to bring that one out like that. It's going to go up that far. And I'm going to put one bit around there. Just going to come down to there. And it's also going to join in there like that. Mm. 
Maybe I didn't want to do that. I'd quite like to have the wide path over through here, but I don't think that I can upgrade the path. I think I've got to do it like that. There, if I remove that bit, and let's go back. You know what? I'm just going to remove this footpath. We'll worry about upgrading and having fancy paths later on. Let's just go for the cheap, normal path like this. So I'm bring that one out to there, and then down to there, and go down to the edge of the fence over here you through and then join you in over there so that is joined in but we still want to join a bit more of this footpath in it's going to come out this way and she's going to go out that way a little bit and then it's going to come right down near that fence so that the visitors can see that end of it and it's going to join in there so this should allow the visitors to go right around this enclosure plus we have a new Hammond creation lab up here that is all joined in down that way. I've got footpath that goes as far as there. I'm kind of thinking I'd like to put a footpath all the way around that enclosure. That would be pretty good. But, I mean, obviously I've got this small power station in the way, which might make life a little bit more difficult. I might be able to do something about that. We'll have to see. There, there may be a way to do that. I don't want to eat up all of my cash just yet, though. i got this nice area in here. We've got a, a lovely little enclosure there going on. Uh... Power, 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 power. That was the, the next thing. Is this one powered? It's... How is it powered? If I look at this. Right, well, that's that's the substation there. I need to go to the power overlay like this. I think it's already powered because I've got the... the it's joined onto the fence. I think that's what's doing it. Power can... Oh, hang on. We uh, more life use a few more resources. Here's our chance to earn some. 250,000. Right. Incubate, hatch, and release at least four new dinosaurs. I can do that. I can definitely do that. Right. Uh, Ceratosaurus. I think I'm ready for a Ceratosaurus. I think I am just about ready for this. So we can go here into incubate dinosaur. 70%. That one is on. Excellent. 550,000. I really hope this one works. 70% that one is. This is not great. That is not a very good opportunity. It's not a great chance, is it? Uh, let's go into the fossil center in here a minute and have a look at what we've got. So we've got there, I've got the Edmontosaurus. That is at 54,000. That's a very poor um, one there. And I've got more here is 10,000. And then here we've got skin impressions. Sell that for 100,000. That one's 100. That one's 100. That one's 120. That one is 40. So I've got quite a few of these items here that I could sell. i got like uh, one... Two, three, four. I've got nearly half a million dollars worth of stuff there, but I'm so certain there was a quest that came up. It might have been that, um, you know, because my son ran out of money when he was playing it, and that, that might have been what done it. Uh, so I got those two dinosaurs there. Have I got any more here? I don't think I have. Nope. InGen database. New dig sites. There. We got the Horseshoe Canyon and Morrison Creek there. And then locations and people as well. I'm just going to ignore that. Um, so I'm, I'm busy doing the Ceratosaurus. And then I need to uh, do some more dinosaurs in here. So I'm going to go in here. And Struthium Mime is at 91%. That is actually really good. So I'm going to... That's it's down to work. 90 there. DNA is the key. We get 150,000 for that one. Right, incubate that one and go to hatching bay and i'm going to incubate another struthiomimus so we've got a little herd of struthiomimus running around which i think would be absolutely brilliant and let's have a look at this what is this one saying reserve one of ten operational i'm curious what's going to happen with that one and um, um, how long it's going to take before we've got to whether we've got to redo it or not or somebody else does let's have a look here 47 percent that one's taking its sweet time um I'm wondering about, uh, like, terraforming here. Let's demolish landscaping here. Right. Uh, trees. That's forest. That's water. Take water away so I could remove some water. This would be expensive. Raise. Lower. Make slopes. Trees. Forest. Shrubs. Remove. Right. I would like to remove some buildings. Around. Look at how much this is costing me. I don't want lots of trees for these predators feeder needs resupply right i'm going to remove those trees there the so then i've got a lot of trees and i've got some other dinosaurs stuff. in your park 
Use a ranger team to resupply feeders. Okay. Feeders contain a reserve of food that needs to be regularly restocked. Select a ranger station using R and assign a resupply task for a ranger team to restock feeder to maximum. Watch out for the food exhausted icon to see feeders that need restocking. Right. So we've got that one over there. So I'm actually going to build another feeder in there for a minute. Uh, ground herbivore, tall herbivore, carnivore, live bait feeder. <laughs> That's a little harsh. Um, viewing gallery. That'd be pretty good. We might have to build a viewing gallery over here. So we're going to go for another ground herbivore too close to dinosaur. I see. Right. So I'm going to build another one of these out here somewhere. Um, right, yeah, I get that you're too close to the dinosaur. I understand that. I'm going to drop that one down there like that. So that one should come out with fresh herbivore food. Ground herbivore feeder three. Why is that number three? If I... I think I put another one in and I sold it or something. I can't remember now. It was a little while ago. Right, anyway, we need to go R and we need to go to Ranger Team 1 like this and then... I can add task, resupply feeder. Uh, select highlighted objects in a world. Ah, right. Resupply a hundred thousand. Proceeding to the feeder now. Crumbs. Okay. Uh, that's 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 a little bit expensive. They're on their way. If you click on those over there, you can go into drive vehicle and you can do it yourself. Here we go. Break. We do that and... Oh, no, 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 don't get caught up on there. So then we can come in here and our task. Bridge profit margin in good shape. Keep up the good work. Go to finances. So we want to come over to here like that and... Now, how do I do this? Oh, resupply. I just click like that. Replenished. So I can do it myself or I can ask them to do it for me. Um, resupply. Ah, if I do it myself, it costs 10,000. If I get them to do it automatically, it's 100,000. Or did I read that wrong? I may have read it. Oh, no, that's 10,000 there. It might just be because I haven't used very much. Um, let's go down here a minute and take photo. What's this one got me? I think I see what you're going for. Let's not worry about that. Okay. Yeah, you think you see what I'm going for, but um, it apparently didn't work. So, what else can I do? I've got a, I've got a trike over there. I've got two trikes, actually. If I can get both the trikes in the photo, I might be able to get a bit of cash from that. Let's bring that one over there. There we go. I've got two trikes. They're not doing anything in particular. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. 8,200. Collect reward. I can cope with eight grand for a picture of a trike. And then if I come down over here, I might be able to get a better picture of the Struthiomimus. Two of them. <laughs> um, composition bonus, just the Struthiomimus. That's, that's not very good, actually. Uh, back. I thought I had three of these beasties. Where is the others? Uh, there's, there's another one over there. There we go. Right, now, F. And bring that in like that. I got three of them then. No. I feel like something's missing. I got, they're, they're there in the picture. It must be very small. There. What about that? He's he's being panicking. Two of them panicking. 1,800 for the truth of my mistake. Okay. That'll do. Right, now I need to, I need to go out of here. Uh, he's panicking as well. I, I probably should just leave them alone now. I'm upsetting them. They're getting distressed. So let's, let's come out of the pallet. And then we can go back. We've got a Ceratosaurus, I'm hoping, is ready. So I'm going to go back like that. And, yeah. So you come out of the truck. They, they'll go and take that one back, and they'll do that themselves. So let's have a look in here. Release dinosaur. That one can come on out. We'll skip that little bit. And then I will go release in progress. And then I go for him, and I will release dinosaur. Uh, waiting to release. Here is. We got that one has come out, and then our next one. It goes. Gate closed, and that one as well. Right, he's on his way out. Release in progress. 
So we've got two more of these. There's five of them there, but you've, you've got to be able to come in with the Ranger vehicle in order to do this. I get five of these in shot. That would be fantastic. Look at that. That would be brilliant. Okay, so they're very happy. They've got five of them together. We'll try and get a picture of those another time. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, the next thing I wanted was I got the gift shop there. It was clothing was a new one there. Shopping four stars there. Uh, we've got fast food. And this one here, gift shop. And then what's this? This is the hotel. I don't worry about that. The emergency shelter. No, it wasn't that. Enclosures. There. Uh, viewing gallery here. Cost 150. A window into the past. It increased dinosaur visibility for park guests. Can be attached directly to enclosure fences. Right, so I'll take this one. And I'll put this one up here. Why can't I put it up here? Ah, I see. The size of the thing. Look at it. Look at it. It's absolutely enormous. I'll bring that one. Ah, right. That one goes on there. No. Nope. was on round there. That's, that's no good. And I cannot do that there either. So which, which way is the... Which way is the front? I can put that there like that. Which way is the front? Which way does it view? Oh, I see. Right. Now I get it. Comes out that way. So I, c I can put it up there if I want. And it's, it's kind of... I'm, I've got those feeders a little bit too close to the fence, really. I think the issue here is those trees. So if I get rid of that one a minute, and then I go here into the landscaping tool, and I'm just going to remove this little lot of trees right here, like this. There. There, remove all of them. They're gone, right? And I get rid of that. And then I can go back to, not guests, I want to go to enclosures, and scroll down a little bit, and I want the viewing gallery right there. Sure that clicked through just a minute ago. There. Yeah, and then I got the fence there. This this is not working for me. Just need it to... It, it, that would be terrain constraints. I don't want terrain constraints. I can bring it over this way and it will fit down that way somewhere. I can bring it to there. And this the problem is it's obstructed there. So... We're going to have to try and do this a little bit differently. And the idea is, I think we're going to move the gate up. Where do I want to move the gate? If I move the gate over this way a little bit, would that work? Uh, I could even just put the gate up there because that's the, the terrain. It's constraints there, isn't it? Uh, so I need to go to, first of all, demolish that one. Something is preventing gate one from being demolished. Okay, I can remove that. Okay, right. I've demolished that bit. I need to do this fairly quickly now. I want to go back up there and I want to go to fences. I want to go to just a normal fence and I want to join that in there like that. Right, that's good. Then I can come back into here to the enclosures and I want to go to... No, oop. I know you're busy, but this opportunity is just too good to pass up. 150,000 to unearth a high quality fossil. We'll get to that in a minute. We're trying to build a viewing gallery. There we go. Right, and they can also, they can see. There, look at this. Okay. I'll bring that in a bit. There, and that's also joined in there. That I've got, I've got power there. Um, I can't go any further that way because of terrain constraints, but I can put it there. I see the fence is now moving more because I don't have the build. It's obstructed there with the feeders so I can bring that one round the fence is no longer in the way if I could put that one there except that I don't have there I've got power on it there so I'll put that one down there we've now got this viewing place and then what I can do is I can go there to enclosures and I want to go there to a gate and I want to drop the gate in here. So that's terrain constraints there. But I can drop that gate in there. And that's the perfect spot for putting the gate. I see. Right. So we can build the fences on them first. And then we don't have to worry about the... Um, that, would we do the gate at the very end? I didn't realise that. Okay. We can join that one in. That's going to go that way like that. Uh, I'm going to build another path there. So we've got like a double path that's just coming into that bit there. That works quite well. And then one more thing in the enclosure... 
I'm going to build another herbivore feeder over here. Close to the front of that one there. So I've now got this beautiful viewing gallery, which I'm hoping is going to encourage people to come down here and go and have a look at our new dinosaurs that we got down that way. We got five Struthiomimus in that paddock, and it's absolutely wonderful. So what I need over here is I need a bait feed. I, ne I need to be able to feed them some food, and we can either go for a carnivore feeder, provides meat and suitable nutrients for carnivore carnivorous dinosaurs. Food is served on a schedule, so more than one feeder may be needed to support groups of dinosaurs. A feeder satisfy food need. Feeders must be regularly resupplied by a ranger team. This one, although less efficient in nutrient delivery than the carnivore feeder, it satisfies food and provides activity for the hunter. Um... Provides meat and nutrients for carnivore di carnivorous dinosaurs in a mobile package. So that's the live bait feeder and that's the carnivore feeder there. We're going for a live bait feeder. This may seem somewhat um, unpleasant to some of you, but it's, it's just the way of things. We've got carnivores in here, ladies and gentlemen. We don't have... Um, well, I was going to say kitty cats, but kitty cats are carnivores as well, so it probably would be just as good to uh, have one of them. I'm going to put that one down there, and then as for a viewing place, I don't think we're going to be putting a viewing gallery in here just yet. We're not going to worry about that for a minute. Let's go over here. Here he is. Right, resilience 24, lifespan 64 years, skin basic, release, the Ceratosaurus. This is it. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Look at this bad boy here. Impressive work on that contract. Oh, that is fantastic. It didn't go unnoticed. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at him. Oh, that is fantastic. Happy guest is what we strive to maintain here on the Look Earth. at this we do that brute. By making sure their needs are met. In a Savage. way, it's kind of like taking care of the dinos. Just with more demands oh. and less understanding. There's, there's his right? dinner. I wonder if he's going to get it. He's roaming at the moment. He needs some Things food. Things are looking good around here, huh? I love what you're doing with the place. Oh, construct and power a viewing gallery. We've already done that. Release dinosaurs. Three or four. What's he going for? He's going for it. He's going for it. He's going to get it. There he is. Munch is eating. He's actually eating his lunch. Look the at that. That was great. brilliant. Profit per minute, $106,000. I think we can safely say that that is okay. Uh, right, so does this mean that my live bait feeder over here needs to be reloaded? Let me have a look at this one. Nine of, oh, reserve 9 of 10. So it does it on the schedule. So he's, we're going to have some more goats be released later on. Um, to, to deal with that guy. Look at him. Look at that brute. Isn't he wonderful? Isn't he absolutely wonderful? Now, I'm curious if the ranger team... Ooh, ranger team. We're, we're, I, I've got all these other things that I need to do, but no, ranger team. We're, we're going to the ranger team. We're going to go and drive the vehicle. We are going up here. Right, out of the way, guests. You cannot run over the guests. This is not possible. There's all these guests here. But you can't run them over. Trust me, though, if the dinosaur gets out of the paddock, uh, then bad things will happen. Right, we're going to come on down here. Uh, we don't want to reload. The oh, hang on. Oh, there. Right, picture. Well, that's no good. I can't see him. Come here. Nope. Okay, scrap that. Come around here. I want to get a photo of our new Ceratosaurus up here. Let me go there. Right. Ooh. Ceratosaurus composition bonus, nine grand. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Ooh. Species repetition. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'll collect that reward anyway. Look at him. He's not happy at the moment, is he? I need to get out of here. You go away. I, I need to leave. I need to leave. Vehicle access, keep clear. Is, is he going to try and escape? Why have I got people screaming? 
<laughs> look at them, look at them raising their hands at the jeep. They're like, "Hey, I'm walking here." Okay. Um. So yeah, you can actually have that one escape if you open the gate. Uh, he will go and escape. Right. I'm hoping that ranger vehicle will eventually go. Yeah, there it goes. And then we've got a load of people. They're all getting out of the way now. What's he doing? He's reporting. He's reporting back. No, don't open the gate. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, they're psychos. They're absolute psychos. Right, yeah, we really don't want to open the gate with him right there. Look at him. He's, he's there looking at the, at the visitors. But this visitor center up here, they're really liking this, aren't they? And also, I got these out here, the Struthiomimus. I want, to, I want to get a picture of those. I'm going to go back to the Ranger team and I'm going to go to drive vehicle. We're going back up this way. We're going to see if we can get a picture of five of them together. So what we need to do is we need to go in there, get close to them and press F really quickly so that this works. And that's where you, you've got to press F to be able to make this work. So I want to go up here and then F there. There, got it. Got it. Struthio Mimus panicking. Bone, is that it? I only get 5,600 for all of that. That's not great, really, is it? For the Street of my missus. Okay, out of the way, you lot. Go away. Don't don't go that way. Right, I want to go over this way. And I want to get out. I want to go out through here. And, of course, the other issue that you have is that I think dinosaurs can get... If you're not careful, I think the dinosaurs can get out. Right, I'm going to let that one carry on there, and he's going to go and do whatever it is that he wants to do we need to go back over here so we need to obtain a high quality possible we need to release another dino one more dinosaur we're gonna and construct a clothes shop we're running out of time for today's episode and we've got three slots left i'm gonna sell the coprolite in a minute sell there bye bye to the dinosaur poo and we can go back to the expedition map right at the moment we've got that one there is struthio mimus that is going to boost that one up by a bit i don't know how much so go there or this partially depleted partially depleted for all three of them um i'm gonna go back to there we'll see if we can get struthio mimus all the way up to 100 percent i'd quite like to do that and the ceratosaurus there okay we'll go that one we haven't actually been to that one yet so we'll go there and we'll see if we get anything really good and while we're waiting for that one to come back we need to construct a clothing shop so that is going to be management using closures operations no it's not it's going to be guests uh gift shop we haven't built a gift shop yet either. We're going to want to do that. So we're going to build the clothing shop so that we get this little reward that we're after. Um, where am I going to build a clothing shop? I suppose I could put it up there. Terrain constraints. There are terrain constraints to building it there. What about here? Obstructed. Doesn't like that, does it? Uh... Hmm. What about down here? There? That would actually be a perfect location for it. We can drop that one right in there. And then I'm going to have to go to power. And we're going to have to go to a substation. Which I'm going to put in here. I'm just going to rotate that round a little bit. So that it sort of snaps back over that way. I'll put that one in there. And then I need to put some power in. And that power line is going to go that way that way and it's gonna join in there like that right so that is all joined up this one here is power consumption three so we've got unused power for is that all 14 wow we need to do some research where's my research center there we go uh we need to research some upgrades for something we got genetic research over there building upgrades this is what i need power upgrades I there i like what i'm seeing let's keep it up Satisfaction is what we aim to give our guests. Make them appreciate the little things. And the big things with the teeth and glassy eyes that could swallow them whole. <laughs> Transmission incoming. Ooh, what's this? Uh, mission complete. A commercial perk. One million. Dracorex now available. Dracorex. I, I have no idea what Dracorex is. Hey, way to go. We've got our park running at maximum happiness. And our guest numbers are up as a result. That's what makes the entertainment division the envy of the rest. We get the results, am I right? When the parks are running okay. well, our scientific research improves. Of course, I'd never tell this to Isaac directly. Heard it? Mm, I, I was mm. going to add. Yeah. No. No. No, 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 no. Too late. Heard it. Later, Doc. 
<laughs> okay. Right, uh, Dracorex now available. Right, there's a mission complete, a commercial park. Uh, we'll have a look at the, the mission thing in a minute. No, what, uh, what's this? Um, inventory space for the fossil center. That's the 300,000. No, it's this here. So we've got uh, maintenance units reduce upkeep costs of upgraded power by 10%. That one there, increase total power output of upgraded power stations by 14%, introduce a 5% risk of power outage. Uh, that one, earthing units, reduce the risk of power outages to, at upgraded power stations. So I'm going to need to do both of those. I want what I want both of those researching. That one Welcome and back. I want that one as well. Looks uh, like the expedition well. was a success. Okay. Reputation reward, science center, and visitor centers. Uh, that's great. I need to go, not the expedition, I want the fossil center over here. View fossils. We have, oh yes, we wanted that one, didn't we? That was what we needed to get. So this is Struthiomimus. We're at 91% on that Word one already. Word is that a new contract is available. Everything starts with science. If we're to recreate ancient life, we begin with an egg. Except, uh, successfully incubate a carnivore in a Hammond creation lab. We will do that. We're not going to do that yet, though. I'm going to go there, and I'm going to extract that DNA, and then I'm going to go to this one. I'm going to extract that DNA as well, so we get ourselves a lovely little fortune. Oh, new... Oh, Dracorex. That is a new... Yeah, Dracorex, a new... Um, And that's also Triceratops as well. We'll send that one off there. So it's a new dinosaur, a new dinosaur available. This, this is actually pretty cool. If we can get a new dinosaur altogether... I would very much like that. And I also want to see if I can do a 100% dinosaur there for... We need to incubate a carnivore but um, for our next herbivore that we want to do into there. Uh, research, how are you doing? How are you doing? You, you should be researching... Oh, two minutes remaining. That's a little way to go. Um, I want to get both of those researches done because I want. I don't want to risk power outages. So I want to be able to do like double upgrades on those as rapidly as possible. I've got the clothing shop down here. Let's have a look. We can set the dino cell for six. I wonder if I could increase this. Double that up. Seven, eight, two, nine, two. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm selling food for three times. There. Sell it for 12. Buy it. Buy it for that. Dino shirt. So you can only do one, though. You can't have multiple things. Dino onesie. The dino shirt there, 521. If I take that one total per minute, yeah, I, I want to do more than that. It's truth yoke. New complete genome. Ideal. Right. Uh, this one here, I want to bump that up to like $40. That's four times. Four times is too greedy. Three times. Two times, it's sort of dropping it. Uh, two and a half. $30. $30 is too much. They, they don't seem to think that $30 uh, dollars is acceptable. Um, 48 of 320 there. So if I drop that back down a little bit, go $25 on that one. Now a 63. Expense 10. Total per minute, I get 889 probably. 63 guests are buying this. If I just double the price on it, go down to 20. There's only 79 guests are buying it, so it's 716. So yeah, I think 25 is the sweet spot on this one. There we go. We go for that around about 25. Uh, yeah, we need to go to fossils and see the new one that was found. So that one there is busy up and running. I've got something that operations here. I've got a new oh, the science building there. That's three quarters of a million. We'll we'll get to that. That's that's something that we're going to get to. Let's go over here to the food a minute and see what we're doing on here. Um, this one, I've got expense six. So I'm, three times I'm selling that for. 81 out of 240. If I take this here, this dino dish, which we're de selling for, and I drop it down a little bit, my profit decreases by quite a substantial margin. I'm getting... Yeah, but I don't get a lot of extra people coming in, so I'm going to leave that one up there at 18. So that one's going to stay at three times for the fast food. Um, I'd like to be able to do more. I wonder if, I wonder if the reason... Oh, maybe the research center will have that. Maybe that's like a thing I can do in here. Uh, building upgrades. Expeditions. Ranger. Hammond creation. Power. Asset. Re oh, no. Okay, that's not a thing. A shame. 
It is. It is a great shame, but it's not a thing. Research centers required two. Uh, reduce power upkeep one, and outage protection. That's the one that I want right there. Is outage protection. We want to get that one going as well. Ingen database, uh, dig sites, various. Yeah, we, we got lots of stuff there. No, it's this here. Look, we have got there the Dracorex, the fossil there. That's on zero percent. So I want to start that one. This here is no silver, one hundred and twenty thousand. That is 120,000 for an amphibian fossil. And then this one here is more Dracorex. And that is 40 grand there to extract. That's fine. We can do that. How are you? 7% already on a really... The, the lower you are to start with, and the more you get from your DNA extraction. And then when you get up near the top, it takes a lot more to like get through those last little bits. So if we go there, we got 14% on a one star. If I go to this one, this one's going to be quite a jump. I reckon it's going to be a good 20% on this because it's so low to start with. Easily a good 20% on there. We have 14% on the other one. This is 21, 22, uh, 23% that we unlocked on there. And I've only got two slots left because I got all of these things here. I'm going to take, I'm going to sell that one. And I'll keep, I'll keep the three slots. And I'm going to go back here to the expedition map, and that one is just a Dracorex there. This one here is Dracorex and Triceratops, so I'm going to go to that one again. And let them go for that one, and what else have we got? I need to incubate a carnivore. But no, in here, we have 100% Struthiomimus. Now, my viability is 99% at the moment, so we kind of want to... I wonder if I should modify the genome again. I don't think I will. Oh, the Dracorex is another herbivore. So the only um, carnivore I got at the moment is Ceratosaurus, and we're going to need another one of those. So let's go to the Struthiomimus a minute, and I'm going to bake, uh, bake another one of those. That is 99% viability. It's down 1% because we modified the genome a little bit. We're going to do some serious genome modification at some point very soon. Very, very soon, if I have my any any say in the matter. Uh, I want a gift shop. I want to make more money out of these guests. I want to gouge them for as much cash as we can possibly get. Now, apparently, I cannot, like, dig these things into the ground here. That, that doesn't work. They, they don't like that. Uh, so, I could do it there. I could put it there, actually. I could bring it all the way over and put it on that side. It's a long way out. It's a long way for them to wander. Oh, no. I don't need to. No, there's a there's a building in the way. I'm, I'm obstructed on that one. That's a shame. Oh, what about in here? Nope. Still obstructed. Uh, all obstructed. Building costs. Obstructed. I could put it all the way out there. There's no point in putting it down there. That's not going to benefit me in any way. Um, that is terrain constraints mostly around there. And then we've got a little bit that's obstructed as well. Can't do anything down there. Oh, I can put it back here. I didn't actually realise. I, I can I can just drop it back down here. And it's not like the ideal situation. It's not the, the perfect place, I don't think. But it'll do. I can drop that one in there. And then it's up against the road anyway. So that'll be fine. Here we go. Research complete power outage protection. And that is the last thing I want to do. We'll worry about the other dinosaur next time. Uh, except that I just want to release this one. So I've got two things that I want to do before we go. We're going to go to this power station right here. And we go to upgrades. And you look here, we've got two upgrades here. Outage protection one. Um, and so improved output there introduces a 5% risk of power outage. I'm going to buy that one there. And then I'm going to go here. Uh, achievement unlock, you think that kind of automation is easy. And then outage protection... I'm going to um, buy that one for 40 grand, and that is going to go into there. So then if I look in here, storm protection, no. Running cost, 10 grand. Damage, no. Path connection, yes. Um, unused power, zero. Total power output, 60 plus 8. Does it tell me? See, like this one here, improved output, one. Outage protection. Reduces the risk of power outages at upgrade power stations by 10% one here total upgrade output increased by 14% introduce a 5% risk of a power outage 
where does it say what my risk of the power outage is? Because it's um, damaged path connection, yes. Unused power, zero. There's no... Act oh, info. Operational. No. Hmm. It doesn't tell me what my risk of power outage is on that station. Whether it's like the 5% minus 10%, so it's like 4.5%, or if the 10% is an overall thing, which would make it a little bit easier to sort of um, figure out. Anyway, Taking contract complete, contract done acquisition. Smart choice. You've proved that. Thanks. Reputation reward. Crichtonsaurus, Crichtonsaurus, successfully incubate a carnivore is the one that we still need to do and I have got, let's have a look around, look at them all, we got loads of them, we got lots of little guys all running around, they're all happy, uh, social is right in the middle, population is good, we don't want to overcrowd them, dinosaur genome, authenticity 100%, lifespan gene 61 Age 1. Expected lifespan 61. Let's have a look through some of these others and see what this bit here. Age 16. I see. Right. And then, like, Terry down here. How old is Terry now? Uh, he's 33 years old. Okay. So we're going to... The, the life of the park is like... is He's carrying on. We, we are sort of going through the park fairly quickly. Um, and... Right, I, I really don't have time to do any more. That is all we've got time for at the moment. We'll worry about that. Um, where is he? Where is he? He's up here. How many of these have I got? Live bait feeder. Reserve 7 of 10. So he's, we have released a few feedings. Has he got feed out here? Is, is he... Where's the goat? Where is the live goat running around the paddock? I'm not really sure. Anyway, he's in there. Uh, that's all we got time for. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.